Our oceans, covering more than 70% of the Earth's surface, are a vital source of life. They provide food, regulate our climate, and support a vast diversity of species. Yet, beneath the waves, a crisis is unfolding. Overfishing is rapidly depleting our marine resources, with dire consequences for the environment and humanity. Fishing has been a way of life for centuries, but today's practices have evolved dramatically. Overfishing is driven by several factors. Firstly, technological advancements have enabled larger catches. Modern trawlers, equipped with sophisticated sonar and massive nets, can haul in fish by the ton. This efficiency, while economically beneficial, is ecologically destructive. Secondly, the rising global demand for seafood has pressured fisheries to produce more. Popular fish like tuna, cod, and salmon are particularly overexploited to meet consumer needs. Lastly, governmental subsidies and economic incentives often encourage overfishing. Many fisheries operate with financial support, reducing the cost of fishing and promoting unsustainable practices. The impact of overfishing on the environment is profound and far-reaching. One major consequence is the depletion of fish stocks. Overfishing disrupts the balance of marine ecosystems, leading to the decline of species that rely on these fish for survival. Coral reefs, for example, suffer when herbivorous fish are overfished, allowing algae to overgrow and smother the reefs. Another critical issue is bycatch, where non-target species such as dolphins, turtles, and seabirds are accidentally caught and often discarded dead. This not only threatens these species but also contributes to the overall decline in biodiversity. Overfishing also impacts human communities. Many coastal regions depend on fish for their primary source of protein and livelihoods. As fish populations dwindle, food security is threatened, and economic hardships ensue. Despite the severity of the situation, there are solutions that can help mitigate the effects of overfishing. Firstly, adopting sustainable fishing practices is crucial. This includes enforcing quotas, using selective fishing gear to reduce bycatch, and supporting certification programs like the Marine Stewardship Council, which promote environmentally responsible fishing. Secondly, stronger policies and international agreements are needed. Governments must enforce regulations that prevent overfishing, eliminate harmful subsidies, and support conservation efforts. Additionally, responsible aquaculture, or fish farming, can alleviate pressure on wild fish stocks. Innovations in technology, such as fish farming systems that minimize environmental impact, are paving the way for more sustainable seafood production. Finally, individual actions matter. Consumers can make a difference by choosing sustainably sourced seafood, reducing waste, and advocating for better policies. Educating communities about the importance of marine conservation can foster collective action. Our oceans are a shared resource, essential for the health of our planet and future generations. By addressing overfishing, we can restore marine ecosystems, ensure food security, and preserve the wondrous biodiversity of our oceans. Together, we can turn the tide and create a sustainable future for our oceans. Help us to educate others by sharing this with your friends, family, and the rest of the world.